Merry Half Christmas, everybody. I'm Nicole with Nesting Haven, and today I'm going to share with you my Thriftmas in July haul. Now, I went to both yard sales and Goodwill, so you're going to see those items from me. If you're new to my channel, I actually resell in an antique booth and online, so you're going to see those items, and then also items that I picked up from my own personal collection. Now this is actually a part of a collaboration that I sent out an open invite to all my fellow YouTubers to see if anyone wanted to participate and I was overwhelmed by the number of people that wanted to join in. We have around 50 people that are going to be doing this with me so definitely check out the drop down menu below. I'm going to put up a playlist and continually add to it throughout the day as people post their videos. So be sure to go make yourself a maybe a frozen hot chocolate and grab your favorite snack and let the binge watching begin. I'm going to start with the yard sale items first. I went to both a bunch of yard sales and Goodwill a couple times over the course of the last six weeks. I think it's been since I first put out the invite for this challenge. Um, so this yard sale here, I got this group of items for 25 cents a piece, so 75 cents total. I'll start here. These are cute little vintage Santa salt and pepper shakers. They are made in Japan. They have the little stickers on them there. So I got those. These I actually have a set already in my personal collection. I'll more than likely resell these. Um, they are from Home Co. And I believe, I want to say there's a third one because I think I have three of them in my own collection. But nonetheless, those are cute. And these are probably my favorite find. I love the looks of these little Christmas elves with the present and the little candy cane. These are Japan as well. And they also have this sticker here that says it's a, I believe, Joseph original. I see that on some things I pick up. Um, so yeah, <laughs> those are super cute. I will be keeping those ones for sure. Now, I don't really decorate with snowmen, but I know a lot of people do. And I thought this was super cute here. I did pay $2 for it in the yard sale, and I will definitely resell that in my antique booth. I picked up this little Santa guy here for 50 cents. He is a little planter or some kind of holder um, of sorts, but I will be keeping him for my Santa display. Now I got this, uh, I wanna say, I think I paid 50 cents for it, no more than a dollar. Um, it's this little holly and berries Carafe. I'm not sure the maker of this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Anchor Hawking or Libby or what, but um, yeah, if you guys know, let me know. I picked up this little wooden Merry Christmas to my teacher box. I thought this was cute. It was like 25 cents and it has three little Christmas apples inside ornaments. Um, it has like a little, I guess that's a bear. And we got a dove and a sheep. <laughs> so I thought those are super cute with the little apple ornaments. I'll resell that. I picked up Rudolph, one of the old golden books. I didn't look at the age of this one. It appeared to be a little bit older. Nope. I guess it's only from 98, so it's not that old. But um, I just got that for my kids anyways. I love the little golden books. I think they're fun. I got this Budweiser Clydesdale horse beer mug here. Illustrations on this is great. Um, this is from 1989. I'll be reselling this as well. Then I picked up this little Scrooge um, coffee mug here. And I think Mickey's on this side. This is from Mickey's Christmas Carol collection. Um, we got, don't see a date, but it is a Walt Disney Company mug here. I think it's a really nice mug and I more than likely will sell that. I'll clean it up a little bit. I think I can get those uh, 
marks out with Bar's Keeper Friend. And then I picked up this cookie jar here with the mittens on it. This is, was a dollar and it is a Hallmark cookie jar. In there. Has kind of a little bit of a crackle finish to it. I'm not sure if it was originally that finish or if someone left it in a cold place and it just kind of crackled, but nonetheless, people enjoyed that look. And then back here, I paid 50 cents for this little snowman bridge. I don't really know what you would call it. Um, this is glass here, kind of a uh, painted glass, I guess. And yeah, I just thought that was cute. I will resell that as well. I picked up a bunch of tins. Um, I like this one here. It is an older card tin. It doesn't have the cards in it, but I grabbed that for a quarter, like the Santa's on it. And these are good to reuse for um, gift cards or something, if you wanna gift that. Then I got this Santa one here for 10 cents, a snowman one for 10 cents, and this one here for 25 cents, that does have a bunch of Christmas napkins inside of it. And then I just got this one here is kind of cool. It has the snowman on it with the Hershey, little Hershey bars. Um, I thought it had a year on it, 91, I want to say. Um, yeah, I got that one for 10 cents. I got this one with the horses on it here for 10 cents. And a couple of Santa ones. It was the night before Christmas. And this one here, those were 10 cents a piece as well. Those are, I kind of prefer to give gifts in those and I could always resell uh, what I don't want to use <laughs> into the booth. All right, so some more yard sale items for you guys. Now all of this stuff I'll show you is part of a, I think it was one of the charity um, hauls I've already previously done. So I can't remember if it's the one I gave $10 for the group of stuff or um, $20, but I, did pick this up at one of the charity sales as part of a grouping with a bunch of other stuff I've already hauled. I just kind of saved this to show you guys for this. So I picked up this little Santa. I got this cute little snowman ornament there. And this, I really like this one. I'm more likely to keep this is a um, Coca-Cola Santa ornament here from around the 90s, mid 90s, I believe. So I think that's super cute. It looks like the balls on the tree will reflect the light there. So that should be cute. This is a three piece uh, like tea set. Um, I'm not really sure the purpose of it breaking up into three parts, but nonetheless, it's a snowman. It's very patriotic and cute. I grabbed two of these brand new in package Christmas ornaments that you can put a picture in. I think I'm keeping these and going to put my boy's picture in, you know, one and the other. These are from Liz Claiborne, I guess. I picked up a couple of trays. Um, I've been grabbing these because I'm considering doing some kind of a gallery wall at Christmas time with them. I think it'd be really cute, especially with the more vintage ones. I really like this one here. This one was from 1981, uh, made in Hong Kong. I think that one's super cute. This is just a basic one from Walmart, but I grabbed it anyways, cause it was there and I, I don't mind it. So we'll see. And then also in that grouping, I grabbed these older style Christmas light bulbs here. I got these, I thought these would be cute to add to a vase or you know, some kind of display. Um, yeah, so I'll more than likely keep that or maybe just use it as a display um, in my booth. I grabbed this tin. I don't know, I thought it was kind of, I like the scenery on it, so I thought it was kind of nice. It is Korean Eyes. Um, I'm not sure the year on it, but I like, I particularly like the outside, um, like the trim around it. I think it's super pretty. More than likely I'll resell that one. It's a little large for my collection. And I got this little snowman here, a super <laughs> large carrot nose. I'm assuming this is supposed to be a hook, um, hang on to a wall like that, and I don't know, put a dog leash on it or something. I'm not really sure, but that's cute anyways. Whoa, <laughs> I 
And I got this Kendra Libra thing here with the little dainty candles. I thought that was cute. I think I might actually hang on to this. Don't think it, oh, well, maybe it has something there. Heart, hear it, age, Christmas shop. Oh, heritage. <laughs> There you go. Don't read upside down, friends. So Heritage Christmas Shop is where that was from originally. And then I got this cute little Santa with a baby Santa <laughs> um, candle holder, I guess. So, yeah. Oh, I guess there's Santas all around. He has lots of little baby Santas. Maybe it's his little, his little Santa helpers. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cute. And then I picked up this here, Santa in the sleigh, says Merry Christmas on the side, has this little toy bag there, and a Christmas tree that needs to be straightened out there. there. It's like a little bottle brush tree. And he has his bell, super cute, I like him. This is a little wreath in the front there. Yeah, so I grabbed him. I might hang on to him, he's pretty cute. And then I grabbed this as well. Just kind of tossed it in because I thought it was kind of unique. I like kind of homemade stuff like this. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this or not. It's pretty cool, the um, little candles and stuff. Uh, I guess those are beads, aren't they? Yeah. So there's some beads on it and some um, embroidery. It's a cute project from someone did and I think it's a cute piece. I, I might keep that. So the last items I got at the yard sale are on the table right now. I picked up this nice piece here for 50 cents. It has the little red cardinal, I believe it is. Some berries and pine cones, uh, some pine and yeah, just super cute. You can see some nice ribbon detailing around the edge there with some stars and stuff. It's kind of a little bit glittery and gold. So I thought that was super cute for 50 cents. And these two I actually got for free. Someone was done with a yard sale had put them on the side of the road, so I was happy to go ahead and take them. Um, the ribbon's a little weird there. I might see if I can take that off, but I think the basket's really nice. And, you know, besides the ribbon, I think it's done really nicely here. And yeah, <laughs> I think that's super cute. And I also got this one for free. It's kind of a hat basket there and has the poinsettias in it. I think that's super cute. So yeah, that's what I got for floral pieces. Um, I'm not sure if I will hang on to any of these myself or not. It's not typically my style. I like more vintage, but I do kind of like traditional Christmas colors too. So I don't know, we'll have to see, wait closer to Christmas time. And then I also picked up this stained glass art piece here with the snowman on it for $2. If you can see, let's see if I can pick it up a little bit. You can kind of see how the light goes through it there. So, yeah, I got that to resell. And then I got this cute Santa platter for two bucks. Um, I'm not sure. I'm more than likely I'll, I think I'm going to resell this. It's a little large for um, my collection, I think, but I don't know. We'll see when Christmas comes because I have a hard time. I like Santas. <laughs> all right, so this stuff is all from Goodwill. I believe there was a couple trips involved on this load on the table here. So I think one trip I got 10% off and another trip I might've got 15%, maybe 20. Um, but yeah, I'll try to remember the prices as I go if I know it's a little bit less. First thing I grabbed is this really beautiful angel here. I couldn't resist this. It looks like a hand painted piece, has the little harp up there, super gorgeous so well made um see the back here the little angel wings i'll have a hard time letting this go i think i'll probably more than likely keep it it was three dollars and i believe i got 10 percent off that so what's that 270 i think i paid for her so yeah super cute i think i might have had yeah someone made it in 1977 there so so pretty now this I remember I picked up for a dollar because green tags were a dollar that day. It's just a nice little Santa cookie jar. I don't think it's anything, well maybe, 
Arlington Designs. It's it was originally twelve ninety nine from somewhere, TJ Maxx or something more than likely. So, um, yeah, I got that, and then I picked this up here. I think this was a dollar. Um, I'm not seeing a tag, but uh, I thought that was a cute little piece. Uh, more than likely, resell that in my booth. I grabbed this nice little Santa. It is a uh, musical piece here. Play some Christmas music. I like that he's checking his list and has the globe here. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was $3, so I got him for t probably around $2.70 ish. And then I guess I'll come back here before I miss him. I grabbed this to resell with a little snowman here with the little bird houses, and he has the bird. It's just a little wall hanging. Um, I think I paid, okay, so it was a dollar, so I paid around 70, I think around 75 to 80 cents for this, maybe 90 cents. I can't quite remember, but I knew it was under a dollar. And then I got this cute little deer here, the little spots, I guess it's a little bit like Bambi. <laughs> um, this was two dollars, and so a dollar 80 probably or less. I just think that's super cute. I I probably will keep that myself. It'll kind of go with my vintage decor, I think. And then we got the little, are those nutcrackers? I think that's what they're called. Um, it's just a little candle holder here for 180 or less. And I don't know, I guess there is a make on it. Party light or yeah, party light. Made in China Express for party light. So yeah, I'm not sure the age of that. It does have a little bit of an older feel to it. I think it's really well made. I think that's super cute. I grabbed this snowman here um, just because it was cheap and I know I can make a few bucks off of it. <laughs> um, people like their snowmen. So yeah, I got that for around 90 cents or less. And same thing with this one. I actually think I got this for a dollar. I want to say, I'm pretty sure I got that for half off um, as well at the uh, day the tags were green, uh, the green tags were a dollar rather. It has a little bit of a crackle finish. I think that's intentional all around there. And it's a Nesco made in 2000. So yeah, I think it's kind of cute. People that like snowmen and it looks like a candle holder, I guess. Okay, what did I skip? So I got this here is three tin cans of the nut nutcrackers. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what do I want to keep calling that? But think there's something different. Um, but anyways, these were put out by Lint and Sp Spungly. Is that how you say it? The U Spungly. I don't know. But I think these are cute. Anyways, they are. Kind of ornaments they have the ribbons so you can hang them and they were only a dollar so you know 90 cents or less um, these are good to gift smaller things in as well so you could either use them for decor or just to you know hand off a gift in now this here these items were in this bag for two dollars so i paid a dollar 80 or less for them and the only reason why i really wanted them because I saw Snoopy. <laughs> I love, you know, Peanuts and Charlie Brown and Snoopy, so I wanted this, and I thought he looked kind of old, but I wasn't sure. I couldn't quite see the bottom the way it was in there, but guys, look. Look how old this is. 1958, 1966. Made in Japan. Super great condition for being that old. Has a little color wear there, but other than that, I don't really see anything wrong with it. <laughs> That was a cool find. I was happy to get that. Now for what else was in the bag, I um, got this little bear. He's pretty cute. <laughs> I'll probably just resell him. It's from Home Co. I actually have one of these Santas, so they're really, they sit kind of heavy on the tree, so I was thinking about getting rid of them. Um, I was just, you know, standing them up like this in my Santa collection, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll probably put them up for sale this year needs to be cleaned up <laughs> but yeah got that in the bag this I guess is a set a little mama 
a mama bear here <laughs> or their cub. Um, just looking at it, I didn't really think it was much of anything, but it looks like Fine Bone China, 50% Fine Bone China in Taiwan, Department 56. So I guess it's a little older than I thought. I'm not really sure the age, but I guess that's a little, little mama, mama and cub set there. <laughs> And then they just had these two Santas here. This one actually has its top broken, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that. Um, and then this one is, actually it feels wooden, so um, yeah, I might hang on to this. I like, I like the wood Santa. And the last thing I got in this part of Goodwill <laughs> was this set of three um, Christmas plates here for a dollar, so you know, 90 cents or less. I had two of this one here. I'm gonna do the same thing with these more than likely and um, I'll consider them for my Christmas gallery wall. I particularly like this one here, the carolers. I thought this was really pretty with a really starry, it kind of looks like a starry night. I guess it's snow, <laughs> but it's super pretty. I love that. And yeah, the third one's just like the first one there. And I have one more Goodwill haul for you. All right, guys, you're hanging in there. Let me know if you guys made it this far in the comments below. I had quite a bit to show you, but if you're you know, a subscriber of mine, you know I'm pretty well known for really long thrift hauls and yard sale hauls, so I'm sure you stuck with me. So everything on this table was actually 25% off because I bought a whole bunch of stuff at Goodwill. I have yet to sh do that haul with you for you guys, so I'm gonna share that, you know, within the next week if you wanna come back and see the rest of the items I got for 25% off at Goodwill. Um, but yeah, so with everything being 25% off, I got all this here with 75 cents. This was um, Red Tag Day, so uh, Red Tag was a dollar, so I don't think they gave me the discount on that, so no, I lie. Okay, so these were a dollar a piece, so that was originally five, so this was a dollar for the snowman here. It has the top on it, and then it actually has a place to put the candle, so I guess you put scented wax or something up here. I'm not sure how it works exactly, or maybe scented oil or something, and it kinda, you know, puts the scent into the air, but anyways, I got that for a dollar to resell and this was red tag so I got this for a dollar as well I really like the vase it was in and this was just kind of sitting in it as well so I guess it came with it um, I don't know if I necessarily like the two of them together but none of the less I got that for a dollar more than likely to resell I picked up this I thought it was gorgeous it's a pretty heavy glass. You can kind of see how it's changing colors a bit. Um, yeah, so this was 75 cents, like I said, because I got 25% off, and I don't know anything about the make or brand or the age of this, but I really like that, and I plan to keep that for myself. This is just a Santa piece here. I think it's wooden, feels wooden. Um, yeah, so I got him for 75 cents. This is probably the oldest thing I got on the table. It's this cute little elf boot here. Um, this is, is it Napco? I think, yeah, Napco wear. So I believe this is from the 50s or 60s. And yeah, so I got that for 75 cents. Super cute, I will probably keep that too. <laughs> and then I picked up a few Santa mugs. Um, just because they're cheap and I do collect Santa stuff, so I think I'll probably hang on to this guy here. He was 75 cents. And stick with the mugs, I guess. These two match there, so um, yeah, 75 cents for those guys. And we got the snowman I'll resell. And yeah, so he was 75 cents. This looks like an older piece here. I feel like this looks like one I just hauled from the yard sale. It's very similar if it's not the same, maybe just the same piece, but someone different painted it a little differently. Um, it is hand painted, it looks like. And I don't know, someone tried to sell it for $2 or something at some point. Um, but yeah, I got that for 75 cents. Uh, I don't know if I showed this guy, but he was 75 cents as well. 
And it's a cute little Santa. I'm not sure why he has a shovel. I was trying to figure that one out. I guess he's gardening. Hmm. Why do you have a shovel, Santa? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's scooping up some coal to give to the bad kids. Um, so the last items I got was this cute little sleigh. It is appears to be sort of handmade ceramic. Um, has the kind of handmade painted red paint and then it has like a kind of glitter, almost like a sugar glitter uh, texture to the top white part here. So I got this for $2.25% off, so $1.50. And then I thought this was super cute, guys. Look at the little deer and it already has the floral in it. Very cute for $1.50 as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if someone, I, I guess someone probably hand painted this as well. Um, it does have a glaze finish to it where this one is just kind of plain. So obviously it was probably run through a kiln or something, but super cute anyways. I'll probably hang on to that guy too. So yeah, that's my haul guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know if you think I did better with the yard sales as far as pricing and items, or if you think thrifting is the way to go for Christmas items, you think you get a better selection. That is going to do it for me, guys. I thank you everyone for participating who participated. I am going to get the playlist up as soon as I can today. And if you're, you know, not a YouTuber, please continue to check back as I add people to the playlist throughout the day. I have over, I think, 49 to 50 people participating. So, you know, watch what you can through the week and, you know, get yourself a rainy day. You can grab some popcorn and make a day of it. Maybe some hot chocolate or something. Really get into this Christmas in July uh, thriftmas items. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Until next time, we'll catch you later.